Hello, my name is Park McInturf and I'd like to welcome you to Greenville, Tennessee. As the Keep America Beautiful coordinator for this town, I of course think it's the prettiest town in America and I want you to see how beautiful it is too. We're going to take a short driving and walking tour in the downtown historical district, but we're going to start our, our tour here at Greenville's Yole Town Gate. This gate used to serve as Greenville city limits and was erected in 1925. Let's take a drive downtown and see what else this beautiful town has to offer. As you walk down the streets of Greenville, you'll see so many beautiful old homes from the 18th century through the 19th century. Here's Briggs Big Spring Inn. It's one of our bed and breakfasts downtown. So beautiful inside. Gardens around it are beautiful. Use that for a lot of wedding receptions. And so many other old styles of homes that we have if you drive down the streets of Greenville. We are a historic district. We are a Main Street Greenville town. We've worked very hard to restore our downtown area and revitalize it. Like many towns, a lot of our businesses were going to the bypass and we wanted to change that. We wanted to, to revitalize our downtown and be sure that we kept the, the historic district very much alive and um, full. Here's Harmony House, one of our oldest homes. It's beautiful on the inside as well as on the out. It's got so many items in it from the turn of the century and before. Our downtown area, as you can see, has so many lush trees that keep it shaded and cool. It's like an old southern town should be. Across the street here is another one of our historic homes. It's a beautiful yellow home right in the middle of our downtown area. Here's our first Baptist church downtown. Our downtown has so much character given to it by the old historic churches that we have. Next, we have Cumberland Presbyterian Church. This church was here during the Civil War. It still has a war wound. There's a cannonball here up at the front of it, at the, at the entrance where it was shelled during the Civil War. It served as a hospital, also as an office for the Union. And here's the area that we've worked so hard to revitalize. This is what we call Morgan Square. And first we have Morgan Inn. This is a hotel that has combined three railroad hotels into one that we now have. And it's run by Grand Heritage. This is a, a good example of a community as well as the government and private uh, sector getting together and, and putting together a hotel so beautiful as this. We've all really worked hard to get this to where it is. We now have a lot of shops that are also downtown, specialty shops such as Eye Candy, which is a, a contemporary crafts gallery, and as well as our new Capitol Theater that we're trying to uh, renovate as we speak in order to turn that into a playhouse. The sidewalks in downtown Greenville are all brick, as they were once long ago and the trees that we have planted, uh, many of them are pear trees, bring a lot of character to our downtown. One of our prettiest churches in the downtown area is Asbury United Methodist Church. Covered with stained glass windows. One of the most beautiful churches that we have here in Greenville. And Greenville is also the home of 17th President Andrew Johnson. Here is Andrew Johnson's home after he became president and until he died. This is a national historic site. We have so many visitors come through Greenville each year wanting to tour Andrew Johnson's home. Now that we've given you a drive down our main street, let's take a look at some of the more special places that we have here in Greenville. This is the front of our General Morgan Inn and Conference Center go inside and take a look and see what it looks like. Oh, wait a minute. One of the reasons we're so proud of Morgan Inn is of course because of the beautiful decor in our main hotel lobby as well as the beautifully hand-painted ceiling that was designed specifically for this hotel. This is an original fireplace from the Morgan Inn, and every afternoon here in the lobby at 3 o'clock, they serve tea. As you saw in our drive downtown, here is one of our specialty shops, Eye Candy. It's a contemporary art gallery. 
Let's go inside and take a look. Um, I'm just gonna start. Here in Eye Candy, which is a store with objects that have chosen to delight the eye and satisfy the soul. So many specialty items, stained glass, blown glass. Gifts perfect for any occasion. Now let's take a look at another part of Morgan Square. This is Depot Street. As you can see down through here, it's a perfect example of our brick sidewalks and our newly renovated facades. Further down Depot Street, we have more stores for shopping. Here we have an antique mall, which is just filled with antiques. On down through here, we also have some eclectic type stores as well as jewelry stores. After shopping at the Crafts Mall or the Antique Mall, restaurants from Tipton's Cafe to Deidre's, there's so many varieties of restaurants downtown. Here is the Dixon Williams Mansion behind Morgan Inn, which has been beautifully renovated on the inside back to its original condition. But if we win the $10,000 from the con contest, we plan on replanting the gardens as they were from 1821 to 1865. This is our courthouse and it's very unique in the fact that it has not only a Union memorial but also one for the Confederate soldiers as well. Greenville, Tennessee was mostly a Union town but we did also have Confederates here and families whose sons served in the Confederate Army. We hope you've enjoyed this tour of historic Greenville. We hope that one day you'll come and visit us and see that it truly is one of America's prettiest small towns.